So my, my uh, husband and I, we have a great relationship, but we have our issues just like everybody does. Um, and one of the biggest issues for me is, I um, have to admit it, it's what goes on between the sheets at night. And um, the gaps <laughs> that emits from this man's ass could wake the dead. And I'm not dead. I'm not dead. It's unbelievable. I, I can't take it anymore. I want my own bed in my own room. I want a stink-free sleep environment. <laughs> Issues, you know, he's always hot. I'm always cold. He wants the covers down over his feet. I want him up to my chin. He's six three. This that's not gonna happen. Feet and chin. It's not gonna happen. Um, and uh, he always thinks I'm hogging the bed. I know he's hogging the bed. It's like UFC. It's like UFC in our bed at night. I mean, I don't understand who decided that it was a good idea to share a bed with another full-size human being. Who, who decided this was wise? Because this is not wise. <laughs> I think it's, you know, we spend, we spend the whole like first few years of our kids' lives trying to get them to sleep in their own bed, in their own rooms, convincing them this is a good thing, this is good, you want to sleep alone, and here we are as adults, we're taking a step backwards in my opinion. In my opinion. This is actually, I think this is actually detrimental to our relationships. I think that our sex lives would be way better if we didn't have to taste someone's farts. <laughs> it's gross. And it, it surprises you. You go to roll over, oh, oh damn it. Or smell their hot, stinky sleep breath in the middle of the night. Or watch them drool or hear them snort. I'm serious, because you know what? Sleep 